Okay, let's take a look at uh, basic chords and um, and put these together uh, one at a time. Uh, so we have five major chords with open strings, three minor chords with open strings, six dominant chords with open strings, and four bar chords. So with the chords on the sheet, you can play lots and lots of songs. Um, so let's get started. We'll, we'll take a look at the E chord. So we'll place the first finger on the first fret, third string, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, third finger on the fourth string. And these strings are played open, or as is. And we'll strum from the sixth string. Okay, let's take a look at the A chord. So fifth string open, we're excluding the sixth string. And we want to put the first finger, second finger, and the third finger all on the second fret. Okay. And we're strumming from the fifth string here. Okay, let's take a look at D. So D, open, fourth string, first finger, second finger, and third finger. We will not play fifth string and the sixth string. We'll strum from here. at G. Uh, we'll look at um, two, two different ways to play this one. Um, let's start with the fourth finger on the first fret third string. And um, let's for now just strum four strings. Hear how that sounds. Let's add the second finger. third finger here. Let's drum from the sixth string. So do whatever is comfortable for you now and then uh, give it some time and then work up to the full chord. Let's look at one other uh, way that we can play this. So we can put the finger, third finger on the first string. Strum from the fourth string. And then we can put the first finger here. And then we can strum from here. And then the uh, second finger on the sixth string. And then, then we can strum all strings. So that's another way to go. Sometimes it just depends on what, what key you're playing in, what, what song you're playing, you know, which... Uh, finger combination you'll use with that. Okay, so let's look at the C chord. So I'll place the first finger on the first fret, second string, and um, again, we, you can always build your chord from the third string, from maybe three strings, and then and then kind of work from there if if the chords are difficult for you. finger. So this is the full C chord. And we're strumming five strings. Okay, so those are the major chords. 
E minor, second finger here, third finger here, so it's fifth string, fourth string, this is second fret. strings and then we're strumming all strings. Okay, we'll take a look at uh, A minor. So first finger. If you're just starting on guitar, first finger and then second finger and third finger, really you want to uh, place them all down at one time, but um, but when you're starting out, you might try one finger at a time. Okay, so there we have A minor. I will look at D minor. So I'll try first finger, second finger, and place the fourth finger here. You may also uh, try third finger here. Again, it, it kind of depends on the song that you're playing. Um, but the fourth finger is um, it's probably a good way to go most of the time. And then we don't want those guys there, so that's D minor. So that's a great start. If you can get all of those going, um, you're in, in great shape. Um, and then the dominant chords, um, we can quickly go through, go through those. Um, we have first finger, second finger, this is D B7, third finger, open, and fourth. This chord feels a little awkward at first. B7, strumming five strings. Okay, and then we have E7. Okay, that's E7, all strings. So A7, uh, let's try two and three, it's A7, let's try five strings. Okay, D7, first finger here, second, third, and four strings. G7, first finger here. Okay, so that's G7. Strumming all strings. C7, just one up in string, and we're strumming five strings. Okay. Okay, so let's go over the bar chords here. So, um, the F chord, we play, um, and I'll probably do another video just on the F chord um, because it's difficult, but I'll show you how to do it at least. So we place the first finger all the way across the strings. You want to be slightly on the outer side of your finger and you want the bony part of your finger to contact these two notes and then the, somewhere around the tip of your finger to contact this string, okay? 
the second finger, third, and fourth. Okay, and then you strum all strings. Okay. F sharp minor, similar story here. So we have first finger, third finger, fourth finger, first finger, first finger, and first finger. Okay, so with the first finger, you need to hold down um, uh, three strings here, and then and then one more string over here. So make sure that that kind of bony part of your finger is is placed centered somewhere around the second string, and then the tip somewhere near this uh, sixth string, and then third and fourth. And then we have this empty space between our first, third, and fourth fingers. Okay, let's take a look at B flat. So another bar chord, first finger here, and then the third finger is really where we're getting the, the bar here. So this finger, um, technically that's there, but um, you don't have to worry too much about trying to sound that out because this third finger will likely block it, but you can, you can do it. Um, so the third finger lays down um, on the three strings there. It's B flat. Okay, B minor. Um, first finger, first finger. Okay, working across there. Second, third, and fourth. So first, second, third, and fourth on the second fret. Okay. Okay, so that covers uh, the basic chords. Um, so start with a major minor. Um, you could probably even um, go to the bar chords before you start the dominant or, or start them around the same time. Um, so playing these chords, uh, you can play um, many, many songs. If, um, if you're just starting out and you want to know what will really um, get you started quickly, um, focus on the G, the D, the C, and the E minor. Okay. And then if a song is in another um, key, uh, you can put a capo on. But those four chords um, are, are a great, um, great key for the guitar, and um, a lot, you'll find a lot of songs with those chords. Okay. <laughs>